I'm back in Malaysia, I'm back at MyTech, the big exhibition center, and this time I'm here for this. I am International Auto Modified in Malaysia. They had a show last week in Singapore. It looked pretty crazy. This week, the whole concept has come to Malaysia. And right opposite, we've got a classic American pickup with a big clamshell bonnet on it. And next to it, got a classic Corvette. And this show, I am, it promises the most crazy, the most outrageous, the most dressed up cars you're gonna find in Malaysia. This show is the wildest, the wackiest, the best of the trailer queens that you're gonna find in this country. So I've come down to see what's going on. I'm gonna show you around the show, show you what the cars are like, show you what's there, maybe talk to one or two people, but this show, it pumps out the music. So I'm not sure we can say an awful lot, but anyway, I'm gonna show you around, take a look at the cars, find out what the craziest of the crazy, the wildest cars. So let's crack into this. Let's go in the show and let's have a look around. Hi, it's me, Kisina here. And today I'm working with InSpeed. Now, this is a show that travels around the world, goes to places like Australia, Indonesia, Singapore. It's coming to Bangkok next month. And next year, I believe it's going to America as well. And it is just for the craziest and the wildest modified cars that you can find in a country. So this show, it is just completely the over the top, the far out, the nuts, just the complete craziness of the car world in one place. I'm just gonna stop and show you this because this jazz, look at the arches and the wheels and the fitment and the spacing and everything on that is just completely and utterly nuts. And the whole show is like that. And if we just look on the side here as well, we've got another message going on there as well so we've got a few messages going on tonight in this show and this i absolutely love rothman's porsche inspired 370z how cool does that get that's what it's all about and i don't even know what i what i can say about this gtr that is just completely utterly mental and there's so much work gone into that as well and man have you ever seen a back box that big and especially on a Lancer as well. This isn't a show about classic cars. It's about outrageous, modified, crazy stuff. But what classics lack in quantity, there are one or two here and the quality is off the scale. And you just start with this Countach. That looks like a Cayman, but it isn't. It's an MRS. Now, right, a lot of people kit up MRSs to look like Porsches, but it still looks like an MRS. This looks like a 981. I was sailing past and I thought that's a 981, but it isn't, it's an MRS. And I love this mouth here and the teeth on it. And again, that's a real Porsche racing touch to it. And a crazy wide body on it and it's slammed down on air. I'll just show you around the side. It's got these Japanese rims on it, on air, absolutely down. And I just got to show you the rear wing because that is huge and it's got racing style swan neck mounts on it. This is the 370Z from Nissan and this is, we match it with the Varis Racing 2 
body kit and this is one only one in Malaysia and I changed the design into the livery star into GT3 from the inspired from Rothman Porsche and we add on some more stickers and some performance kits Hello, hello gang. Okay, my name is Wan Izham. I'm from KL Malaysia. Uh, today at uh, I am KL 23. I want to show you those two of my two cars. This is the Sumira RV4, and then this is Ford Ranger Raptor F150. Okay, as you can see, uh, for this Mira, we call it uh, for key car 4x4, and then the model come uh, with uh, four wheel drive. Also, I modified it 50 inch advanced super 3 sport with uh, caliper Brembo for part. I use uh, Honda Jazz. This is for Kika and then for my uh, F150. As you can see, this is a monster truck. Uh, come with 22 inch wheel, uh, 6 sport uh, Brembo this caliper. Hi guys, welcome to Meet at Kuala Lumpur. Come to our garage, KK Garage, uh, and see the Four Raptor and also the Daihatsu Kanji. This CRV is pretty modified, pretty tricked out, but I've got to show you this 22 inch rims on a CRV. Have you ever seen anything like that? That is completely and utterly crazy. And the tire as well, mum, on a CRV. I wouldn't normally stop and talk about a CX-5. Yeah, it's a fairly nicely styled big crossover, but it's just for carrying families around from A to B. That's pretty much its existence apart from this one and the one next to it. And what I like about this one actually is this Maserati style grill on it gives it that Maserati SUV feel. But the body kit, the finish is really, really nice. If I can bring you in, it's a bit wet because it's just come in the show, been out in the rain. It's really, really nice. Finish that. And then I'm going to show you next to it, which got a very similar style kit, but a different finish. And these big ribs in the bonnet look good. But if we look at these alloy wheels, HRE wheels, just look at those Brembos. They are unbelievably huge. I've never seen something like that on a CX-5. This is going to stop like no other Mazda on the roads. I was just about to say this Horasan GT3 is a pretty familiar car because it raced in TSS this year. So I know the car well. And then I saw the decals on it. It's still got its TSS number on it. It's got the TSS windshield sticker. And we got TSS on the front. This Volvo is completely crazy. Look at the five skulls on the front here and the way they've done the plate as well. It's been completely customized, completely hot rod style. We've got the cross in the mirror here. We've got a lot of girls. I'm not sure what they're doing there, but I want to take you to the back because this is nuts look at that skull in where the rear light will be i've never seen anything like that before in my life that's absolutely epic and then if i just show you on the boot as well this skull has been completely molded into the boot I've got to show you this Sephora because I think they've done a really cracking job on this. I really like the way they put this bezel in here and then put a rectangular set of LEDs behind. It keeps that really narrow feel of the Sephora, but it gives it that LED feel. It must look cool when it's lit up. And again, the cooler and the pipes have all been molded in really nice, all contoured around here. 
and we've got another LED bank down here and then we've got a dive plate and the front splitter in like a brushed aluminium in Thailand we do modified vans like no one else or so I thought then we get to Malaysia and it seems the same thing is going on here there's a big row of Velfires here, modified to the max. And I'm just going to show you down here the braking on this big, massive new AP racing calipers with vented discs and bells. And look at the tread depth on that. And you couldn't get your finger under that. Down on air, carbon fiber splitter on the front. That is the works. And there's a big row of these Velfires here all modified to the absolute max we've got another one here man the size of the brembos on that that's unbelievable and again it's got vented and cross drill discs and bells on it absolutely amazing and carbon fiber a splitter on the front completely mental carbon fiber bonnet and another one massive brembos on it seems like everyone has got that going on these vans they've all got massive discs massive brakes unbelievably completely crazy doing this with a van and this one here i'm just going to get right down and show you that is down on the ground on air you couldn't get a piece of paper underneath there at all the van scene is just unbelievably mental in Southeast Asia and I really love it. I really love how they're tricking out these vans. This is the second Sephiro that has really impressed me in the show. I showed you that green one before. This one with this purple paint finish. It is so nice, so beautifully finished. A lot of the details are really, really nice. It's got custom headlights on it as well. And this Rocket Bunny kit and this splitter on the front, all matched up, all color coded is really nice. On the side, it's got these big 18 inch rims. It's running on air suspension, of course. And inside the dashboard, it's got an R32 dash. It's got a half cage, a lot of Alcantara, a lot of carbon fiber, can't quite see all that. But I just want to show you the rear wing because that rear wing is absolutely huge. It looks really, really cool and it's been beautifully finished. And you can see the ducktail there on the back as well. And in fact, I'll just take you around so you can get a better view of the ducktail. You can see a big ducktail. It's been done really, really nicely. It's got a big diffuser on the rear, it's got carbon fiber in the middle. That's a very, very nicely finished Sephiro. A lot of people build Sephiros up but they don't always do the finish that fantastic. And this is absolutely perfect. Okay, hi, my name is Fred Dutch, you can call me Mr. Green. Okay, today uh, we are at the uh, IMKL 2023. Today I'm representing my Prodo Akrisa convert to the Hatsu Mira Gino Mini Light. The GTO is a forgotten car in Southeast Asia and it's even more rare to see one that's been heavily modified. It's got a carbon bonnet, you can see it's got a splitter on the front and the paint's got this sparkly gold flake effect into it which is quite nice. And again these quad exhaust tips sticking out and tipping up. I've seen a lot of crazy Velfires at this show but these two here this one and this purple one here with the whole light stuff going on that adds even extra craziness to all the other ones I've seen and like everything else you can see they've got the big discs and the big calipers and this one has got a trim over it. Hi, my name is Mandy. I'm currently technician. I'm currently working in I'm uh, for Bimola. We are this car is actually an official Jackie Chan limited edition Evo. 
They made about 50, 40 or 50 of them many years ago and the story was that Jackie Chan was a brand ambassador with Mitsubishi, I think maybe in China. They got together, Jackie designed this body kit and he made this crazy car. Now, I've seen this a few times, it hangs around KL. I've seen it before but never quite got together with it. So sometime I'm going to track down the owner and I'm going to make a video on this car because it's just completely amazing. And the first time I saw it, I didn't even realize the Jackie Chan edition was really real. I just thought it was like a bit of a legend, a bit of an old wives tale because there's nothing on the internet about it really. There's very limited information kind of forgotten by time. So it actually exists and it was actually a real edition and this is one of the cars. So it's been pretty cool hanging out on Casuto's mood this weekend. And the last thing, I better ask him to explain what is going on in here. All right, uh, welcome to Casuto Garage Boots. So today, what we have today is uh, because at IAM, most people will display all the nice car. So what we do, we will showcase our rare rim, which is you don't always come across to see in front of your eyes for all the rare rim. So this is what we do and uh, we show to all the audience all the rare rim usually you see only on internet so like what we have is a japan gt wheels like this one it's really used in uh, japan gt and then the wheel size super wide wheels and then this is from some of the uh, super classic car race wheels and here is another super formula car wheels well welcome to jpm booth here we have a real g63 g class and we have a suzuki jimny modified to a mini g class and yes, we have one of our project car, an SL 350, that we just recently, you know, completed in a few days ago. And of course, we have the Countach 1988, the 5000 QV. Uh, to us, is one of the nicer models before the 25th anniversary. And we here we have the modified and customized Chevrolet Task Force. So as you can see, everything is custom. Uh, the paint job interior and the engine is together as one piece as well so it's an art piece and here we have the F-Type Project 7 so it's a limited edition um, we got it from the UK it was done less than 500 miles and it came with a helmet even gloves if I'm not mistaken so it's a quite a rare thing that we got it and I think in Malaysia there's only two units and of course we have the M5 but of course we put the CS body kit on top of it and we spray paint into the CS uh, paint as well but of course it's gloss instead of matte so we actually brought seven cars uh, yeah I forgot we have the uh, 1886 pattern motor wagon as well we brought so we got eight cars here today Hi guys, my name is Azim. I'm the project manager for JPM Atelier at the JPM Collection. What we have here is the Benz Patent Motor Wagon, the first petrol car ever built uh, by uh, Arthur Benz. And this is a reproduction remade by Arthur Bechal, sorry. Yep. And uh, yeah, when we, they've been sold out separately all around the world. Uh, and we have one here in Malaysia. Uh, I'll quickly break down what every section is. Of course, you have in here the battery. 6 volt battery and then you have the coolant tank it's a single cylinder engine uh, two oil supplies a fuel tank this is the carburetor type thing this is the igniter drive belt axle the ignition is here uh, and it's not like a normal car ignition where you just turn the key the car starts or nowadays we have a push button start this is actually a contact point where you you unscrew the bolt and it closes the contact and that's how you get the ignition on. Um, to start this car, hand crank manually.
Okay, so it's me, Kakal, and I'm representing Cartel in here. I am KL, my tech. So as you can see, as for now, I brought three cars, which is the first one is the FD2R Complete JS Racing Concept Track Edition. And this one is Honda Jazz GK5 with L15B twin cam swap and turbo swap already. And this one is the, the one and only S660 white body m and It is not a Liberty Walk, but it is an m and So it is first and I think the only one in Malaysia for now. So this is it, as you can see. Right, so thank you very much, Ed, for coming to Malaysia and hope to see you again whenever. <laughs> It's not just about internal combustion engines at this show. We also have the EV Fest, which is basically a booth full of electric vehicles. We've got a Smart here, an MX-30 here, a Kia, Mercedes, Taycan, of course a Tesla, and a Fiat 500. But this must be the only booth without any people on it at all. So for this crowd, I think they're still all hardcore petrol heads. It really wouldn't be a Malaysian car show without someone running anti-lag software on their cars. And we've got it going on today. And it's all the supercar owners, Lamborghini, Porsche, R35s, Supras, that kind of thing and the crowd love it, as you would expect. It's not just supercars out here this morning. There's also a Harley Davidson meet and there's some pretty dressed up bikes here. And I've just got to show you one because I really like this martini livery on the Harley. That looks pretty bang on. You can put martini on anything and it'll look cool and it works on a Harley Davidson. That's it from I Am 2023. If you've stuck it out to the end of my video, thanks for watching. And the final thing to do is just say thanks to these two guys. Thanks to Sophia, thanks to Harris, and also Harris's big boss behind there as well. They have just totally looked after me, done a fantastic job, really welcoming, really on the ball with the media stuff, greatly appreciated, and that's it. Bye-bye, Malaysia.